average, and it computes the average, which is like the arithmetic mean of all elements in an array of integers, and returns the answer as a double. So we're returning a public double, it's called average, and we're taking an array in here, so ints, we have our brackets, and we're just going to call this ARR. Inside of here, we're just going to need some kind of variable that stores this value. So we'll say double, and we'll just call it uh, av, and it's equal to zero. Now we want a for loop to go through this entire array, so we're going to do, we have our for loop, and we're going to run this as long as we have ints, and we'll do a is equal to um, zero, typically, but so we can run this one less time. It's not a huge deal, but we'll just start it at one and we'll set our average currently just to be the first element of our array index. So ARR at zero. That way we can just totally skip over this. And we're going to run this as long as A is less than our ARR dot length. So that's going to be that run. And we just increment A every single time so we can eventually break out of this loop. Now, inside of our for loop, we just want to continuously add to our AV. So AV, and we're just going to have plus equals. We're going to have our ARR and the index that it's currently looking at, which is A. So our brackets and then A. We can end our for loop, and then we're going to want to return our AV. It's not that simple, though, because remember, it's asking us for the mean. And the mean is you add all these up, and you divide it by how many there are. So we're going to do AV divided by our ARR dot length. So we're just going to want to take whatever value we have, divide it by our length, and that should be it. So we can close this method, we can press submit, and we have passed 7 out of 7 tests. So that's how I would look at this problem, the code for it, and self-check 7.11 average.